there's so many great players. Man, he's hovering that character. You know it, man. And Ao, sticking to the character that he's been using a lot in tournaments lately. Yeah, Maybe Kuni that Kuni Mitsu. Mitsu. It looks like we're locked in. Kuni Mitsu versus Feng Wei. Earlier we talked about <coughs> how, you know, Feng Wei and Huarong are the characters that people are looking at in this tournament. But really, Kuni Mitsu might be the character that you got to keep an eye on. All right, we are going to have this opening game. Again, a race to two to get that coveted score. You want to have a 2-0. But if you don't get the 2-0, you need that 1-1, one, one, or the 2-1. Exactly, let's see what happens. Gyogun's Ao versus DRX's knee. Kunimitsu versus Feng Wei, that's right. Talk to the hand, baby. All right, starting it off, let's see. You know, this is, a, you gotta think about it. We go think about the training partners, how they prepare. Knee is going to be prepared for Kunimitsu. He has so many training partners, especially his training partner Chanel. Oh, for that sure. That uses Kunimitsu. But again, very different depending on the players. He gets exactly. a big counter in. See, I don't think Chanel does that. That's wild. Yeah, I've never seen that combo conversion that we just saw there either. Great adjustment here. And look at how gets the unblockable. Wow, oh. sidewalks the full crowd sweep. Oh, man, you know that Knee was thinking Arthur might pick Kunimitsu. He prepared for that character specifically too. Yep, so maybe kill two birds with one stone, but right now, Ao looking really good. Gets the kunai kill at the end. First round to Ao. That character's still very good. And it, you know, it's very rare that he is the type of player that would switch characters as well. He usually sticks his game plan and sticks it all the way through. I mean, he's in trouble right now though. This Ao oh, round. Just definitely, look, we were talking for a No, Trump a doodle! All right, all right. Okay. Um, I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Al was going crazy. Yo! Oh, and it got hit bait. Yo, the full drop delayed in. low. Yo, I've seen this online before. Yo, and the tech trap. Yo, Al is going in right he's now. He's testing him. Well, he has a crazy life lead right now. Oh, he caught him. Yeah, he's got to chill. Full cross sweep on wake up. Your knees in big tone for game one. He tested him. And look at this three round straight start for Al versus Knee. That was Japan. a. It was not a 3 0. It was a fast 3 0. Yeah, that was surprised. You know, second round went so quick. We straight, were just talking. It was straight and rematch. Boom. It was straight rematch. Wow. Okay. So, okay. All right. He, he knew. He knew. He knew. He knows what's going on. I'm, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. But man, that was an amazing performance from Al. Round one. Fight. This. I mean, I don't think it's offensive to say it'd be an upset. Correct. Man, this is just so incredible. I'm thinking about what if Chikorin and Al make it out? Like, what kind of a statement is that for Japan over Pakistan and Korea's best? Uh, we'll find out right now. He's having to make some adjustments now. Maybe slow it down a bit. Take the pace back into his own hands. Good break on the throw. Right now, he's going to have to be very cautious. Very wary of the spacing here. But right now, he's doing such a great job. Takes that back. Slow and steady, knee taking that first round that he, he hasn't had yet. Yeah, that instant rematch is so surprising, but I think you're right. I think he knew exactly what he needed to change up, and he probably felt like he wasn't playing his game plan. Oh, yeah. You know, sometimes it's, it, it's just that. You just, it's a wake-up call. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I, I didn't play normal there. Yep. Yeah, sometimes ow. it's that voice inside, or maybe he heard something from the crowd. So, you know, Chanel was probably yelling. <laughs> so what are you doing? Play normal. Yeah. <laughs> a float conversion here from Al. That's going to be a wall. Yeah, and he's going to get the extra damage here and the life lead here, just shy of the rage. Yeah, he's full crowd. Oh. Mix counter hit down back three from me, though. Oh! Not again. Not again. Let's see what he does. Is he going to be able to get the kill here? Oh. He's, and that was such good rush down by Nii. He did not want to give out any space to have space to set up the rage drive. Yeah. And you know, Nii is so confident in his poke, too. His, his confidence is just, like, out of, out, of, out of his world. Did you see how he dashed and blocked the down for a That was ridiculous. Yeah. Dash in, point blank. Let's see what he does here right now. Ow. Again, trying to get the space here to really start opening him up offensively. Yo, he's I don't ready. think so. He's yeah. ready. He's We've seen that from it. Chanel. So that yeah. one, you know, he's had a little more experience with. Okay, what's the mix? Goes for the 4-4-2 four, four, wow. and three round straight right back at you. And that's why he's the guy to look out for. That was impressive. 
He started off so slow to turn things around, but still three rounds made the last round much faster than the first one there. It's so crazy wow. that we were talking about that. Like, yeah, that was a fast three rounds. This was also a fast three rounds. It got faster and faster as it went along. Yeah, anything you can do, I can do better. Anyways, we are going to the pivotal final game here between these two. Yeah, he's not going to switch characters. Al going to stick it out with Kunimitsu here. Get ready I mean, he did work. He at least got one game in. That's what you have to strive for at the very least. But let's see how exactly. this plays out. This is huge because you want to have the advantage over every player if possible. Damn, pressure is on. This one could really go either way. And I think we're going to Kunimitsu stage. Mm-hmm. Home court advantage. Going to Japan. Let's see who takes it. Final game. Man, I love that. Yo, every time, every it. time. Talk to me, baby. Let's go. Now I'm kind of happy we got more fangs this tournament. Look at this, the pressure this time. I mean, the hometown advantage could certainly help, but great patience there from me. It's like he's a moving wall, but he's not afraid to get in your face. He's a wall that chases you down. Yeah, it's kind of scary. All right, gets the wall as well. Downstairs, what's he going to go for? Nice. Oh. Big life lead here for Knee. Yeah, let's see if Al gets some space. The counter works out this time, okay. Goes in with the full crouch low. Al's all caught up, he's gonna get up. Oh, another low, that's it! What a quick turnaround. And I like it that he wasn't afraid to keep going for the sweep either. I love it. Damn, and now the hop kicks! Yo, the pace and the timing is just all over the place. Al has been switching it up quite a bit here. Knee has been unable to get a good read on the rhythm. Let's see if he changes it up now. He gets a down four crowd cancel. The follow-up. Let's see what he does here. But Al going back the other way. Great adjustment at the wall there. Beautiful stuff. Knee with rage now. Al caught him at the wall. And look at this. Look at that. Set point for Al. Can he do it? It's a tall order. It's a tall order against anyone. Knee is a legend. But you can't count him out. Down 4-2 oh! from downtown! Oh, come on, Knee. How's he gonna deal with it? Nice punish there, going back the other way. Oh, a sliver of life left. Oh, he's dead! Three rounds, fair to get it out, gets the set! 2-1 to one over Knee! Al with the amazing performance. It was three rounds straight. Three rounds straight from me, and then three rounds straight from Al. Great stuff. So back and forth. Man, so 